Welcome to the Chickley Health Institute. We are going to uh, present a very interesting class, Fluid Articular Release. Um, it's a class when we learn how to release joint articulation with a very gentle technique. You may have a license to be able to crack, to do manipulation of the bones, high velocity, low amplitude, but there's still there is some times when you need to have a gentle option for you. If you work on a newborn child, on a very small uh, uh, child, um, or if you work on an animal, you can have an aggressive German Shepherd in front of you. You want to be able to find something that doesn't startle them or feel aggressive for them. Um, if you work with a horse and you have to move a sacroiliac with leverage, with force, you need to have an, you'll be happy to have an option where you can do something efficient and very gentle when you don't have to use your muscles like this. Remember, it could be dangerous in some very old people if they have osteoporosis. Um, you also have some cases when you are in a sport field, there's an acute injury, injury or in the street, you want to be able to, um, uh, for example, have a gentle option. Maybe there's a hidden fracture. There's some famous hidden fracture, like the fracture of the dance of C2, of the axis. So it's nice, even if you have a license, to have a gentle way to work with the joints and um, to have fun with it without thinking about danger and, and side effects. The um, class here is going to work with the upper extremity, but also with some cranial sutures like the interfrontal suture, the, metop the metopic sutures. Working with the suture, the flat bones, is something is much more um, difficult with um, high velocity technique. You don't know how to do it usually. Um, also, we are going to work with um, interosseous joint or regular diarthrosis, a regular joint, but also embryological joint. Sometimes if the wrist is strong, the next place that can let go during a trauma could be the fused embryological joint diaphysis epiphysis that you have everywhere in the hand. And sometimes the joint problem, the dysfunction, may not come from the joint itself. Maybe it's the intraosseous strain. So we are going to work also in intraosseous dysfunction. So if we regularize this strain, the joint may come back perfectly in place. Okay, so we have to know if it's a real joint, an embryological joint, or an intraosseous dysfunction. And we are going to work with, for example, all the joints of the anterior thorax, sternochondral, chondrocostal, um, the joint of the posterior thorax. We have the uh, costal vertebral, costal transverse, and intraosseous, also in the head uh, of the rib. We are going to work with all the joint of the upper extremity and some cranial joints. And um, we'll do about the same thing for the lower uh, class, the lower extremity, also some cranial sutures. And we have a very good protocol, intraoral protocol for fluid articular lower. And we have a little poster when you show all the steps of the uh, intraoral protocol. It's quite interesting. Um, so we're just going to um, uh, remember Andrew Taylor Steele, who was a, um, a frontier MD physician. Um, cre he created osteopathy in 1874, and he used bones and livers to relieve pressure on nerves, veins, arteries, lymphatics. All right? We know that he may have been influenced by some bone setters that came from Great Britain's. There uh, was a lot of um, famous families that was uh, doing bone setting. The uh, Matthews, the Taylors, they had those techniques for about 200 years and giving it from, um, uh, from uh, father to son. The also influence of the American Indians. E.T. Steele was working with the uh, Shawnees and um, he, uh, we know the Cherokee had some techniques for um, bone setting and they were a connected uh, tribe with each other. So he used this technique in a way that was also very gentle. 
It is said he was not cracking so much. Um, when the first osteopathic uh, college opened in Kirksville, they thought it was easier to do some um, cracking technique, to show, to teach those cracking techniques, but himself, he was not doing so many of that. So we are going to do another type of, of, uh, of gentle, non-invasive technique for the joint using a fluid articular rhythm, a synovial fluid rhythm, if you want. And working with this rhythm, we are going to use intrinsic force of the body, self-regulating forces, self-healing forces. The body is going to tell us the timing, when to do this, this release, how to do this release, the right pressure, rather than applying a strong, uh, we used to say, blind external force on a joint, we are going to use the inherent forces of the body. That's why it's so gentle, because we are using the force um, uh, already present um, to self-regulate, self-correct inside the body. All right? So um, we are right now um, here. So this is a lymphatic curriculum, and those classes are not really lymphatics. It's more interstitial fluid, but they are still fluid techniques. So we are far U, far L, lower, and there's no prerequisite. We also have some viscera class, right? Um, thorax, abdomen, abdomen, pelvis. You need to have lymph one. You also have a chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and MS class. You need also to have lymph one. And lymph fascia and PVS is interesting because we are going to find dominant lesion in the body. Um, we used to call that the primary lesion in the body for using lymphatic fluid techniques, using fascia technique, using both together. And we're going to go into physical uh, dominant, more emotional, um, et cetera, et cetera. And we work on the primal vascular system. So some people really like this class. This is a brain curriculum chart. So we have a lot of new charts. We're going to we have a class also on the ligaments. We have a class on the embryo that is going to come uh, soon. And we have heart center therapy curriculum. Alaya has new classes, a class on diaphragm, uh, holographic relationships, and an intro, a one day intro to heart center therapy. So I hope we're going to like this uh, fluid articular release class and we'll be happy to see you at the class. Thank you.